Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you how you can add links to files in your number spreadsheets. So for instance, you have a spreadsheet that lists expenses and each expense ties to a PDF receipt that you have as a file somewhere. Is there a way to have a link so you can click on it and then open up the PDF file? Well, there is no easy way to have a link to a file. You can link to a web page, you can link to another sheet in your document, but you can't link to a file. However, you could very easily insert the path to that file in there and using shortcuts, you can make it very simple to quickly jump to that file if you need it. So for instance, here I've got an expenses spreadsheet and I can enter in the date, which business it was and the amount. And I've got a space here for a link to the receipt. And the idea is the link would be a PDF file. So if I move this over, I could see some PDF files here. If I were to drag one of these into this, it actually copies the PDF file, but as a background to the cell, which isn't really what I want. Not to mention, it's not gonna work with multi-page PDFs and it's going to make the file huge. So I'm gonna get rid of that and look for a better way. A simple thing I tell people to do is to copy the name of the file here and just paste it in. Now, if you've got a folder with all your receipts in it, if you need to find the receipt, you can see the name here, you can copy it and you can easily find it in the list or search for it. That works really well if you just occasionally need to refer to the original receipt. If it's something you need to do all the time though, you probably want a quicker method. By the way, if you find these videos valuable, consider joining the more than 2,000 others that support Mac most at Patreon. You get exclusive content, course discounts, and more. You can read about it at macmost.com slash Patreon. So one way to do it is instead of copying just the name, you can select the file here, go to edit, and look for copy. Now this will copy the file, and if I paste it in, I get the same problem as before. It uses it as a cell background. But if I hold the option key down, then it says copy as path name. And notice there's a keyboard shortcut for this. So I don't have to go to the menu bar all the time. It's option command C. So if I use that and then I go back to the spreadsheet and I paste in, you see, I get the path to the file, which will help me find the file anywhere. As a matter of fact, I can copy this cell here, go to the finder and then use go and go to folder or shift command G, a quick paste for putting the entire path there and it will jump to that file. So that's a bunch of steps, but if you don't need to do it too often, it's not that bad. Just put the path to the file in this column here and you have a fairly simple way to get to the file. But what would be nice is if we can automate this, which is something that the shortcuts app does very well. This is just a series of steps that we should be able to repeat. So let's go to the shortcuts app and I'm going to create a new shortcut. And I'm gonna call this shortcut simply open file from path. And I'm going to go to the information here for it and go to details and select use as a quick action. So I can select some content and then use that content as input for the shortcut. And here you can see it says receive images and 18 more. I'm gonna click on that and select all and then deselect all. So it deselects everything and only select text as the only valid input for this. So now I should be able to select text and then choose open file from path from the services menu. You can see the services menu is checked over here. I'm gonna make it even easier and add a keyboard shortcut. So I'm gonna use uh, control option command at O for this. So you can use whatever you want as long as it doesn't conflict with something else. And now I should be able to run this shortcut using this keyboard command. Right now, it's just going to have the text that's the path to the file. So what I wanna do is find the actual file from that path. I'm going to click here to go back to the different actions here. I'm gonna look for get file. And here you can see you've got get file from folder. I'm going to drag that over here and it's gonna ask for a folder to start with and a path. I'm going to click here and clear this and click here again. And I'm going to choose as my path, the hard drive, the main level of the hard drive. So you need to get up to it. Like for instance, if you're in your documents folder here, you can go up you may just see iCloud drive here. So you wanna find some other location, like say your downloads folder that won't be an iCloud drive. And then you can go all the way up to Macintosh hard drive or whatever your hard drive is called. 
and select open. So it's going to start looking at Macintosh HD. And then the path is going to be whatever comes in from here. So I'm going to click here and I'm actually going to control click, two finger click, or right click here and select insert variable and then shortcut input. So whatever the text input is, use that path. So now I've got the file. Now what I want to do is I want to open the file. So I'll type that here and there is a action for that. So open and then it is going to link to this, open the file using the default app. So this should work to open a file given the text path. Let's go and try it out. Now notice one thing, you've got these single quotes here that are put around the file name. You've got to get rid of those. That's not part of the path. So you want to just have it without those. Now I can control click, two finger click or right click to bring up the context menu, go to services and then choose open file from path. And now it should open up that file based on the path. And there it is, it opened up in the default app preview. So I have a quick way to get to a file if I have the path there in numbers. And it even works if you just select the cell. So I selected the text in the cell. Let's just select the cell itself. And this time, instead of using the context menu, I'm going to use that keyboard shortcut we said. So Control, Option, Command, and O, and it will do the same thing, and it will open up preview and use that path there to get to the file. Now, the one thing you might see that's different than what I've shown here is it might be asking you for permissions the first time you do this. Like the first time you open one in iCloud, it's going to ask for permissions to access iCloud. And it may also ask for permissions if you try to access it in another location, like in your home folder as well. And this actually works in any app because I haven't restricted this to just numbers. So if you happen to have a pages document and you have some text like the full path like this in there to a file, you could use the same keyboard shortcut to open it. Let's go to iCloud Drive here and let's see, uh, I've got a file here at PDF file. I'm going to use Option Command C to copy the path. I'm going to go here and use Command V to paste it in. Notice it's got those annoying little single quotes around it like that. And I notice here that this path here is a little complex because it's showing mobile documents and then cloud docs. In other words, it's an iCloud drive here. But if I select this and use the control option command and O keyboard shortcut, it's still going to find that path and it's still going to open the file. Now a variation on this that I like a little bit better is instead of just being able to open any file anywhere is select here and choose instead of the entire hard drive, just the receipts folder. So I've got a folder called receipts. It's just a custom folder that I created there. But let's say that holds all the receipts that I'm going to link to in this spreadsheet. So now I've got get file from receipts and then it's going to use the shortcut input here. And I'm going to rename this open receipt like that. So I know that it's just for this one folder for this one purpose. Notice it still has the same keyboard shortcut. Maybe I would change that to say Option Command R to open up a receipt. So instead of including the entire path, I can just get the file name here like this and paste it in. Notice how that I'm just pressing return to start the rename, but I'm doing Command A to select the entire file name, Command C to copy. Just a quick little shortcut for getting the entire file name like that, and I paste it in. So now it's going to only look for this file in that receipts folder. I'll do Option Command R, the new keyboard shortcut I set, and it will find that file in that specific folder. I like this, it's a little con more concise, it's a little neater, and also allows me to move this folder or rename it. I can simply rename this folder, put it somewhere else. I just have file names here. So all I need to do is go back to shortcuts and update the path to get the receipts and it would still work. Whereas if I had the full file paths, then I need to keep those files at those specific locations forever. So while it would be useful to have the ability to link to files in numbers, at least you have these alternative methods now. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday 
hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.